how to reach true happiness that's the question that i used to ask myself what is happiness what makes me happy what will make me happy because that's i think that's what everybody's seeking is happiness but before i start subscribe if you haven't let's get it started all right so happiness okay why is people so down you can say that because when i step out my house all i see just sad people sad people I, i i feel it i sense it they're not happy with their life and it, it it's something that gets me, you know, a bit annoyed, you know, because it, they're unhappy because that's their choice. They're choosing that path to be unhappy. Why? Because they want more, more than what they got. Or they're unhappy because they don't got the the the, the fancy car or the big house, or the recognition they need from their career, or they just not making enough money, okay? That's why people are unhappy, you know? So they start seeking answers through religion, through astrology. They go to astrologers. They go to, to preach. To, to church, you know, stuff like this. They start looking for answers because they want to know what makes them happy. And that's it's, it's hard to find. It really is. In a world cruel like this one, is it's hard to find happiness. And it's hard to hold on to the happiness because of this world, this materialistic world that we live in. So people seek answers in church, and they talk to people. You know, they talk to the priests, and they go to astrologers, and they tell they tell the astrologer, look, tell me what I need to do to get this promotion, to get my life started. You know, is this going to happen in my life? I'm so desperate. Please tell me. I need to be happy now. People go on on websites that tell you your horoscope, let's say you're a Gemini, let's say for Western, because a lot of Westerns, you know, astrologers, they have, many of them have websites, and they tell you your daily forecast, weekly, monthly forecast, they go on it. You know, people go on it and read about their future. Why? And they're so desperate to read about it every day, every morning, because they want to know when is happiness going to come. So they seek the answers on another person, on an astrologer. An astrologer is not going to tell you when are you going to be happy. No, because you can't look at another person as a god. Because that other person was... Born in a in a flesh. Ask yourself, you're he's human like you. The only true happiness is by just having faith in God and appreciating everything that you have, appreciating this moment right now. You know, just feel it. The the the, the vibration of being alive. That's happiness. It's, it's the moment. It's now. It's okay. This is what I am. This is what you gave me. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to appreciate it. Because you have built my path for me. And I have to accept it. The problem that happens with people is that they don't accept what's happening in their life. And they they get aggressive about their life. And they become rebels. And this is where everything crashed for them. Their world, their dreams crash. And they just start dealing in the streets, drugs, getting 
into problem, jail, because they're not accepting what God has gave to them. They want more. They want selfish. They want selfishly. They want more than what is what God has given them. What God already gave them. Okay. So when you accept what God has given you, He will give you more. He will give you more than what you want because everything in life is like this. When you don't want it, you will get a lot. You get so much because you you're not worrying about it. You don't you don't seem to care. So what I'm saying is that happiness is accepting your destiny and accepting the path that you so that you're living on. Wherever, if you're in Japan, and you let's say you want to move to the United States, you're accepting. Okay, God made me live in Japan. I'm gonna live in Japan. I'm gonna do what I have to do here. And when He bless me, He will take me to the United States. Instead, don't get depressed and start going crazy. Oh, I want to go to the United States, but I can't. That's what happens. Accept what God has gave you. And he will give you true happiness. Simple as that. Don't need to go to no astrologers. Don't need to go to no priests. Just believe in God. Have faith in what you have. And what he gave you. And the life that he gave you. Just appreciate it. And accept your destiny. And life is all about the way you react in situations, okay? Whether you will react good or bad. You do good, more good is going to come. If you do bad, you're just rejecting what God is, was giving you. you. You're going against what you have. You want more. And you, you, you're willing to screw mess other people life up you know treat people like nothing you know it's not the right path the right path having faith in god only god and just just to get this notice i'm not a, I'm not, i don't do consultations and if if i do it's just to tell what the planets are telling you because planets your your birth chart is just the map of your destiny, where you're going in life, okay? But what really matters is the way you're going to act in those moments that truly matters in life. So I don't do consultation about timing and stuff like that, predictions, because I'm not a god. And I don't think it's right that astrologers, you know, tell people about this is what's going to happen to you, this is what you should do, and this is, no, they're acting like, a god and you're not a god you're human created by god you know and i don't like astrologers that make money in cons in consultation and charge people to go to their classes because i i don't like that they're trying to make money out of something that god gave to to humans like this, you need to know this you know and people trying to make money off something so deep, you know. I just I don't I don't I don't like that. I really I don't like it. astrologers making money. That's one thing I don't like because astrology should be free. Should be for the people that want to know it. And if you don't want to know it, fine. But it should be in the public. It should be for people. We want to know. It's like giving God love for free, not selling. You don't sell, especially like Bibles and stuff like that. I don't like that you need to buy Bibles and you got to pay church. This is, it's like the material is getting inside the true beauty of religion. You know, I don't think religion is not bad. It, it's guiding people to the right destination. But 
What I don't like is people that try to make money out of something good. Because material is bad. Material is what this world is about. And whether you go towards the material or go, or go towards the spiritual side, you know, that's up to you. And you know which one is the right path. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, guys. More videos coming your way. And thanks for watching.